I'm joined now with Don Siffring from the UNL Extension Office here in Adams County. If you've done any sort of lawn work, you've undoubtedly seen these white little pesky lawn grub, as they say, or white grub. Yeah, the white grub. That's right. And what exactly is it for people? Well, it's a little insect that just knows, uh, there are actually three different kind of grubs, but the one that we see is often the one we call the June bug. That's that little guy that knocks on the screen door and the windows yes. at night, <laughs> makes all that noise. Starting out white, as you just talked about, then it goes through several different metamorphic stages and turns out to be a little brown insect, brownish uh, or almost black with some. What they do at that point, they're, they're uh, emerging, they're going to mate, they're going to lay eggs. And when they lay their eggs, the new larvae are going to be very harmful to the grass turf itself. Now, I brought in a sample of grass turf here just to show that, you know, I mow my lawns uh, high, about three and a half inches. Okay. The, or the taller the grass, the stronger are the root systems. So I want that to happen because I can have eight to ten of these little white grubs in here without any harm to the grass. So I wouldn't consider it economically important. But if I get more than that, then I'm going to want to treat. And there's certain grasses that these guys are going after. A newer grass isn't really going to have an issue. Is that the case? No, right. The roots aren't deep enough to okay. where they're going to be bothering. So they're more in the established lawns. And so let's talk about prevent prevention and how okay. we should treat this. Yes, and, and we are talking prevention now because they'll do their most damage at the end of July, August, mm -hmm. and, so, and early September. So our idea is to get ahead of it. Right. And so at this point, we have a couple of compounds. Uh, Merit is one of them and Mach 2. And that applied at this point in time serves as a preventative for the buildup of the grubs. So as you said, not only should they be applying these, but you, uh, you keep your grass longer to keep it stronger in yes, the roots. Yes, and, and, and the university is really trying to push people to leave the, the grass grow longer all the time. Yeah, this may not look like it right now, but we're just actually mowed yesterday. Oh, wow, look at that. Whereas others would be short. This is a mixture of the fescues and the bluegrasses. Okay, well, thank you, Don. Certainly. <laughs> Stay with yeah. us. We've got to look at your yeah. final forecast coming up next.